What do you think? I think so, yeah. Do you think it's possible just those 10 rules to have world peace? I think so. Could we talk about that? Yeah. Okay, okay. How confident are you that that's the case? I'm very confident. From like 0 to 100%. 100%. 100%. You don't need any more evidence. You're absolutely... Record. All right, great. Five minutes. Uh, Did you want to talk about religion? It's not... Uh, Sure. All right. Uh, I'm Ty, by the way. I'm Rusty. Rusty? Good to meet you. Good to meet you too, man. All right, so you probably got a lot of questions for me. Uh, which religion are we talking about, then? So my question is, is, is a blend of Christianity and Jewish, is it possible? I, If you were to ask me particularly, I think they're both Abrahamic religions. They're by... But I think what's what's the definitive point of Christianity? The belief in Jesus Christ? I'd say so. Yeah, right. If you don't have that, you're not a Christian. Is that, would you say that's accurate? Yeah. Christian okay. would be a follower of Christ. A Christian would be a follower of Christ? Yeah, yeah. So I think up to a point, blend. You can still have Moses. You can probably still have everything in the Old Testament. But to be a Christian, you would have to have that extra thing. What do you think? Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, I would agree. So my my question is is why do some Christians not keep some Jewish beliefs? Oh. Does that make sense? Why do some Christians not keep? I don't know. Talk to me. I know about the covenant. I know some about like um, uh, uh, circumcision along yeah. with that. Let's see. But I'm interested in your perspective, man. Uh, so How my- are you, sir? I would say the big question is, is does a Christian keep the Ten Commandments, which is Old Testament Jewish? Oh, that's interesting. So you mentioned the covenant, which yes. would, that would be a major thing. Mm. So what is your opinion? Should a Christian keep the Ten Commandments or not? I don't know. I don't know. I can't be honest with you. I can't name all the Ten Commandments off the top of my head right now. Um, I don't think there was anything in there that was particularly volatile. So if they kept all those commandments, I don't think society would be any worse for the wear. I don't think there was anything particularly bad in there. You want to, does that sound reasonable? Yeah, I think, uh, well, here's a better question. Okay. Would, could there be peace on earth if everyone kept the Ten Commandments? That's not good enough in my opinion. Okay, so why not? I think there's probably some more complex international dynamics at play that are not expressed to the explicit nature that's necessary in just the Ten Commandments alone. We'll probably have like trade agreements going on. We'll have land disputes that are probably going on, ongoing even up to now, because we still currently have them right now, even with the Ten Commandments. Um, you know, there's things about taxes, military use, you know, personal rights. Uh, things change every day. And I think just Ten Rules is not good enough to encapsulate all the problems that I could probably foresee. Mm. What do you think? I think so, yeah. Do you think it's possible with just those 10 rules to have world peace? I think so. Could we talk about that? Yeah. Okay, okay. How confident are you that that's the case? I'm very confident. From like 0 to 100%. 100%. 100%. You don't need any more evidence. You're absolutely close on the position. You think that's absolutely true? Yeah. Okay. 100%. What got you to that 100%? Uh, really? Well, uh... You're, you were getting all specifics, really, but if you were to category, categorize everything into those ten, could, how could you not? Um, I guess I, I'm asking you, like, what's the method that you're using to come to 100% confidence that you only need those ten rules to explain all dynamics of law? All right, so dynamics would be specifically the first four and the last six. Okay. Well, the first four would deal specifically with love for God, okay. uh, which would be don't worship idols. Uh, don't specifically put... Christian God. Yeah, right, right. The Ten okay. Commandments. So okay. uh, no idols, don't put any other gods before me, mm. uh, don't take the name of the Lord God in vain, and the Sabbath day. And then the last six would be specifically love for your fellow man, mm. which is honor your father and mother, uh, don't commit adultery, don't murder, don't steal, and don't covet. So, most of the things that you mentioned would fall under the category of covenant. Okay. So, what do you think? Um, what do you think of, like, uh, gun control or, like, topics of such as, like, 
I have, I, right now there's like a board of things that we're allowed to bring onto this park area. And we're not supposed to have wheeled stuff past that line. And I'm wondering like, that's probably just like a city regulation law. They probably don't want to be insurance liability past a certain point. Like okay, there are some okay. like really, really, really specific I see granular things. Do you think the Ten Commandments gives like an interpretation that everyone could easily get to? Consider that, or should we just have a specific loot, a law that says, "By the way, don't bring your bike past here. We don't have a law, or we don't have insurance coverage past this point, and we don't want to be sued." I see what you're this saying. This stuff takes a lot of money to keep maintained. So you're 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 talking on terms of like local, yeah, um, statutes, yeah. And I'm talking on terms of more of the Constitution. Oh, okay. But I'm thinking that granularity helps peace. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's, That's what I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about as a whole. So you would still want the granularity. I see what you're saying. So you're saying, big picture, have these Ten Commandments. Just, it's cold, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I'm shivering a little no, bit. No, I am too. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> and we're almost at five minutes. You're saying, big picture... The theme of the Ten Commandments is pretty good because a lot of things fall within those themes. But the granularity is still necessary for like the day to day. And I think the day to day is a really big component for like maintaining peace. Yeah, so when you're really talking about the Ten Commandments, you're actually talking about matters of the heart. Uh, don't steal, don't commit adultery, uh, don't murder. So it's actually, when you, because you mentioned something about gun control. Yeah. So that's another question. Would it be necessary? to have gun control if you kept the Ten Commandments. Because really think about uh, the abuse of a gun. Mm. Why is that gun being used? Oh, I meant... What's the motive? I didn't mean so much in gun being abuse. I meant more like um, if I have a gun and I want to give it to my nephew, uh, there are means that I do that as a a law-abiding gun owner. Uh, And if I want to buy a gun, there are ways that I can do that as a law-abiding gun owner. And if I want to auction a gun, there's a matter for me to do it. And they're not all the same. They're all very different. And I think it's good to know that there's a granularity of rules there. Because it makes it easier to track. It makes it easier to maintain your guns that you have. And it just makes it easier to track in case someone takes my gun. Whoop! Uh, my batteries are gone. <laughs> but yeah, I just think the granularity there is, is useful. That's what I meant. I didn't mean okay, like okay, okay. buy a gun and start shooting people. Everyone no, always no, goes no, to no. that. I'm like, no, no, no. They're all really good people who own guns. But like, yeah, as yeah. gun control is concerned... There's a body that maintains that. There's like a record-keeping body organization that maintains it. There's like a lobbying force that manages like the representation of people who do own guns and don't want over-legislation by government bodies. I think these are all useful aspects that may not necessarily be explicitly carried over by uh, uh, gun control in general. Like, mm-hmm. do, you think, do you think if we just had the Ten Commandments, we wouldn't need more rules to explain things? As far as uh, some of the, like, the local statutes and stuff, like, uh, you know, speeding on the highway, stuff mm. like that, you're not going to get that in the Ten Commandments. No, you're not. But as far as matters of the heart, would you speed if you kept the Ten Commandments? I hear what you're saying. I hear You'd what be you're a saying. law-abiding law citizen. Yeah, no? yeah, and I think then if we had a God that said, by the way, I also want you want you driving 60 miles an hour on I-75, <laughs> I'd be like, well, I'm a law-abiding, or I'm a God-abiding person, so 65 it is. Maybe a little 76. I don't know, me too. <laughs> Power up. Cool. Rusty, let me just ask you one follow-up. Then, in the sense of Ten Commandments to explain all laws, every law, are you still at 100%? Would you be 100% on that? Specifically, uh, Constitution, yeah. Not just Constitution, but local, precinct, gun control, everything. Would you still be at 100%? And if you are, that's fine. I don't know that I can answer that. I think that's a better answer than absolute certainty. Rusty, I really appreciate the talk. (laughs) Thanks, man. Now it's too cold. I want you to warm up. (laughs) (laughs) Good talk with you, man.